Yuri and Miss Molly here. Yuri is very excited today because today's reptile lesson is all about lizards. Now, do you know why Yuri is so excited? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It's because Yuri is a lizard and he thinks that lizards are the coolest group of reptiles around. Now, I bet you guys remember when we introduced Yuri in our first reptile lesson, we let you all know that he is a special kind of lizard called a Euromastix lizard. Well, guess what? A Euromastix lizard is just one of over 4,000 different species of lizards found all around the earth. So Yuri wanted to let you all know that lizards all have certain things in common. They have certain characteristics. They all have a long body. They have a long tail. They have armored scales and a long mouth. Now, did you know that most lizards are diurnal? Hmm, what does diurnal mean? Well, the sun's out and Yuri is active as you can see. Diurnal means that those animals who are diurnal are active in the daytime. So Yuri and most lizards are diurnal. They're active in the daytime. Now guess what? Lizards also usually have four legs. One, two, three, four. But some lizards have only two legs and some lizards have no legs at all. That is just crazy. Now check out Yuri. Yuri has all the things that we just talked about. A long body, a long tail, armored scales, a long mouth. He has four legs and he is diurnal. Did you know that in the reptile world, our snakes and our lizards are the most closely related reptiles? Lizards and snakes both have forked tongues, which they use to smell with. They collect smells with their tongue and stick it into two holes in the roof of their mouth, which is called the Jacobson's organ. Guess what? Did you know another way that snakes and lizards are similar is that some lizards are venomous just like some snakes are venomous. Two lizards that most people know about are the Gila monster and the Mexican beaded lizard. No worries though, none of the native lizards to our area are venomous. I'm so glad of that, aren't you? So as you guys know, snakes and lizards are not exactly alike. There are three main differences in lizards and snakes. Well, let's look at our lizards. Lizards, or most lizards, run using their what? Oh, you're right. They use their legs to run. Most lizards have four legs and they use those legs to run. Well, guess what? Snakes have no legs at all. Hmm, but they're not slow. They use their muscles and they slither very fast. So how do we hear? Well, yes, you're right, we use our ears. Guess what? Snakes have no ears, but lizards do. They have an ear opening in the side of their head and they hear similar to the way we hear. The side of a snake's head is flat and smooth, no ears. They have a bone inside their head that wiggles or vibrates when the sound waves hit the side of their head. Another difference between lizards and snakes has to do with their eyes. Do you know what you call the skin that covers your eyes? Hmm, yes, that's right, eyelids. Guess what? Lizards have eyelids and can blink just like you and me. They can close their eyes and go to sleep. Snakes have no eyelids. They're always staring at you. Who's gonna win in a staring contest, you or the snake? The snake's gonna win every single time. Everybody open your eyes wide. 
Now pretend you're trying to sleep with your eyes wide like this. That would be so weird. That's how snakes sleep. How do you know if a snake is awake or asleep? You don't. If he's moving, he's awake. If he's still, he could be asleep or wide awake staring at you. Holy guacamole. One exception of a lizard that has no eyelids is the gecko. Most of the lizards in the gecko group have no eyelids. When we blink, we keep our eyes moist. Blinking helps to keep our eyes from drying out. Geckos keep their eyes moist by licking their eyeballs. Holy cow, that's weird. Lizards come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Their shape, size, and color are dependent upon where they live. The largest lizard in the world is the Komodo dragon, measuring about 10 feet long, while the smallest lizard in the world is the tiny reef gecko and is less than three inches long. Did you know that lizards are found everywhere in the world except very cold places like Antarctica or deep water oceans? Lizards live in all types of habitats, from deserts to forests to rocky mountains to sandy areas. They might live in trees or bushes, in crevices of rocks, in burrows, or even pushing themselves underground into the soil or substrate. Their colors and patterns help them survive in their habitat. For example, the green and old can change from green in a green bush to brown on a brown branch. This is in order to help him be camouflaged for protection. Not only do lizards camouflage for protection, they do other things when they feel threatened as well. Most lizards will freeze, hoping they're camouflaged and that the predator cannot see them. But if this doesn't work, they might try to run away as fast as they can. If they can't get away, they may make themselves look very threatening, like this green anole showing his red dewlap. If this doesn't work, then they might try to bite the predator or fight in some other way. Now, um, if none of this works for the lizard, then they might drop their tail, breaking it off. The tail wiggles and hopefully attracts the attention of the predator who gets a small snack out of the tail while the lizard's able to run off and be safe. After dropping their tail, usually a new one will grow back, but it doesn't come back as long and often not even the same color. How strange. These two green anoles are fighting over territory. They use some of the same skills when fighting over their territory that they would use to fight a predator. Notice they're using their dewlap and uh, trying to scare the other one off. Uh, they also will make themselves look much bigger. In the end, one of these two will emerge as the victor and the other will wander off and find another place to be. The there are some lizards that can do pretty weird Speed but awesome as as things to defend themselves second. from predators. The brown basilisk lizard, which is found in South Florida, can run across the surface of the water. That but is so amazing! Some lizards curl their tails to mimic a scorpion. Now that's a smart lizard. The dracos lizard can glide from one limb of a tree to another. A flying lizard? What? The horn lizard, which is from Texas, and by the way, there were tons of them around the Pensacola area when I was a kid. It can squirt blood from its eyes. Ooh, gross. So what do lizards eat? Well, most lizards eat insects, but some will eat other things as well. They can be carnivorous, which means they only eat meaty things like insects. They could be herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. Or they could be omnivores, which means they eat a combination of plants and animals. Depending on their size, lizards not only eat insects, but they enjoy eating fruit and leaves, as well as worms, eggs, other lizards, small rodents, snakes, birds, and more. Most lizards that live around here eat insects. Whew, I'm so glad. Thank you, lizards. In our area, we have 
native and non-native lizards. Most of us are familiar with the native green anole, but in case you're interested in some of the others, I've listed some of the lizards that we have in the Pensacola area here. If you ever have a chance to come and visit the Roy Hyatt Environmental Center, you should come on inside and meet some of my lizard friends. They're here to help us teach all about lizards. Hope you can come visit. This is our handsome friend, Romeo. Romeo is a green iguana. Green iguanas love to climb. They spend a lot of time in the branches of trees. They're basically herbivores, meaning they eat plants. Wow, look how big Romeo is, and he only eats plants? You need to be sure you eat your veggies so you can grow up to be big and strong like our friend Romeo. This is Mr. Green Jeans. Mr. Green Jeans is also a green iguana. He's still very young. And so he's nowhere near the size of Romeo, but he'll eventually get that big. Look at his long tail. Thanks for being here, Mr. Green Jeans. Tilly is a blue tongued skink. Skinks often have large bodies and tiny little legs, and Tilly is no exception. Check out those tiny little legs that, little, that Tilly has. The name says it all. Tilly has a blue tongue. It's really very pretty, at least for a tongue. Now, our blue tongue skeeks are omnivores. They love to eat insects, but they also like to eat flowers and fruit and berries. Yummy! I'll have some of all of that. Well, except the insects. Glassy is an eastern glass lizard. She's different than most lizards because she has no legs. But we know she's a lizard because she has ear openings and eyelids, which snakes do not have. Glass lizards are carnivores and they eat insects, spiders, snails, and small rodents. You can find them living here in the Pensacola area. I have two living in my yard. This is Simon. You met Simon earlier. Simon is a bearded dragon. Bearded dragons um, live up to their name. They have a beard of spikes under their chin and they have armored spiky scales all over their body. So he kind of looks like a dragon, but he's not. He can't breathe fire like some dragons in fairy tales. Bearded dragons are omnivores. They like to eat insects, but they also love to eat flowers and fruit and the leaves of plants. Now, if they're scared by a predator, the bearded dragon will puff up its spiky chin, open up its mouth to make itself look big and bad. Wow, that's pretty cool. They never hurt anyone. They just put on a big show. Check out those spikes underneath his chin. Wow. They look like they'd hurt, but they don't. So we've all met Yuri. Yuri's helped us throughout the entire reptile series. Now I'm sure you remember, Yuri is a Euromastix lizard. They can also be called spiky-tailed lizards or spiny-tailed lizards. And this is because they have spikes or spines all along their tails. They use these spikes to defend themselves from predators. Now, Euromastix lizards spend a lot of time basking in the sun, but they also like to hide in rocks. Yuri, when he's not hiding in rocks or basking in the sun, he likes to eat. And they're omnivores, so they eat all kinds of leafy food, but they also love to eat insects. Would you like to have some crickets and greens for dinner? Mmm, not me, thank you very much. Today's lesson was all about lizards. 
My challenge for you today is to go outside and search for some lizards in and around your yard. Take a picture or draw a picture of any of the lizards that you find. Yuri and I had a lot of fun teaching you all about lizards today. Next time, we'll find, more, we'll find out more about the last group of reptiles, the snakes. Goodbye from now from Yuri and Miss Molly. We'll see you next time.